Hey yo, what is up guys, this is your boy Twey here and this will be a video as a thank you for uh, the help that and Seasoft support actually got me and um, I had some lag issues like two weeks before all this and I was actually at a point where I thought to myself like if this really does continue I will actually quit the game like I'm not playing a game where I get more frustrated by playing it than actually getting out of it so um yeah, as a general thank you, I will show you what they actually did for me and what kind of impact it had to me and for a reason as well, like bad news travels fast. Like if you look at Reddit posts, you, like you start getting even depressed thinking that the game is either dead or they're not helping the company and whatever. Like people just generally trash talk. But when things go according to a plan, it's like, yeah, but I pay for the service. I have a premium membership. It has to work, but yeah, so think about it like this. So here's the, here's the life lesson. When is the last time when you actually genuinely thank the person for the service that they provided? Even if it was paid, right? It, they, they don't have to. They don't have to put in the maximum effort or whatever, but they exceeded my expectations because the moment I thought to myself like, okay, I'm going to write support as a last resort. Let's see if they can make something work. But I wasn't expecting a solution, right? I was just expecting something to, to just trash about. I don't even know what I was expecting at some point. So, um, yeah, let's let's get it popping. I got a small video in store for you guys uh, where you can see what the lag actually affected me. Now, people could say, like, oh, you're fucking bad. But that uh, that's generally known. But then again, my input on keys is inhuman. And people that see my stream and see my my things, they would say the same. So here it goes. Go max. Uh, whatever. So this is also kind of a sneak peek on um, the Tower of Infinity things that I have in store for you guys. But that will be done later. So look at the amount of button presses. I was holding my left mouse button at that point. It did not came out. This was practically impossible for me. Like at some point it spiked, at some point it didn't, and I just ha just had to press buttons, right? I just had to held down the buttons because otherwise they would never come out. Like RFs and RFs, it did not came out whatsoever. So hard. Now this got me frustrated the most because Tower of Infinity is by far far one of the most fun things that I've seen and done in a long time within this game so I actually killed this dude yay but this is a sneak peek boys let's head on to um, the thing where they actually helped me so here goes the email corresponding so here's the thing um, on to this uh, I started an email, I'm having spike issues, lag issues, I contacted my ISP, I actually work for my own ISP, but they don't know shit about anything. Um, I have an average upload of uh, 45 uh, MB per second, both up and download, so that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, can you guys provide me with any tips on the matter? So, this was sent on 1828, on 2352 they send a reply so that is within like three hours three almost four hours um like okay here's a few things that you have to do send your information and let us work with this so on to the sunday on the 8 52 i send them the reply with both the text that i actually required now within that time now it's 8 52 and I, I said to them, like, thanks for the reply. Oh, wait, I actually sent it later. I'm not quite sure. Whatever. So at some point, same day, they said to me, okay, thanks for the update. We need any preventing programs. Here's the shit you need to do. Now, this all resulted into the next text. So I provided them with it. Still June 5th, right? I sent it there. Then on June the 5th, as a last reply, which came with the solution, they came with this. So this was resolved from the 4th day, 4th of June until the 5th of June. Like, it took them two days to, to, to come up with this. And some people would say like, oh my god, you should have known this. I'm not a technician. Fuck me a, um what is it called a dns problem so it somehow reroutes everything to total bullshit and it becomes all fucked right 
So uh, they said to me, like, okay, you can flush the DNS, you can do whatever, and there you go. Uh, this did not help me all that much. I tried this, didn't work, but then uh, try using um, Google public DNS. Now, if you open a document, it will show you uh, several steps that actually allows you to uh, put your DNS to a public DNS of Google. And um, in that way, uh, you can actually find yourself a way to uh, get this thing popping. Now, if you scroll all the way down, he, these are the steps to actually do these. Uh, I'm not going to show you guys for uh, two reasons. It stands here. I'm going to show the link into the description. Secondly, my IP will be shown into a video and I am not very sure I'd like that. So uh, for those two reasons, I am not going to show it into the video on how to actually do it. But this is what helped me like reduce the lag. I can play Stallstone planes again. I can play whatever I want at this point. So yeah, as a last thing, I would really like to thank the NCSoft support for helping me out. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. This is Twebby. Peace.